Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and there is a ton of news out right now about the new batteries that are coming out. They're large, they're big, they're going to give us more power, more runtime. But what excites me about that is the technology that is allowing those batteries to be built is also going to be brought down to the normal size batteries that we use every day, giving us a longer runtime in our radios. Bosch is making a new grinder that is taking advantage fully of the smaller battery, giving you a lighter weight tool that's got a ton more power, and it's giving us longer runtime in some of the rotary hammers, in different tools like a recip saw out there that are giving us power runtime in the mobility that we all want. But the bigger thing that we're seeing with a lot of these larger batteries as we draw more amps through them is heat buildup. And how is everyone dealing with that? Well, they're dealing with it in multiple different ways. Some of them are just ignoring it. And if you've watched some of our videos before, we'll see a lot of thermal timeouts in these larger tools. So what we wanted to do is just bring you in to some of uh, the technology that we're seeing into some of the Bosch Core 18 volt batteries. I think this type of technology is gonna roll out and be pretty standard across most of these battery packs as we continue to get more power out of smaller packs. So let's come in and take a look at what's inside this. When you first look at the Bosch Core 18V battery, it simply looks like a big block until you flip it over where you start to see this red bottom that has some fins to it. When you look at the bottom of some of the other batteries that we have out, they're pretty much flat. Everything is a box. But what's going on here with this red area is it's a heat sink. It's trying to take the heat from the cells inside and pulling it away. And you can see it a little bit better where we took apart this battery. The red goes around everything and it encapsulates each cell. And there's a little bit of air that goes in between them since the cells are circular. And then that heat will be pulled out. Now these cells are a 2700 which is larger than the last ones they used the last ones were an 18650 and some of these new larger cells are a 21700 and what those numbers mean the first two is the width so a 2700 would be 20 millimeters wide and the 700 part you take the next two numbers a 70 it would be 70 millimeters in length and you just drop off the last number it's pretty much meaningless so this type of system where you're taking the heat away, pulling it out, trying to disperse it back to the atmosphere is where things are going to go because these batteries are going to get hot. The more power that we pull from them, the more heat that's created and the more that we want to disperse that so we do not get thermal timeouts. So next time that you're really pushing some of your battery operated tools, take your hand and put it on the battery pack. See how hot it's getting or take a look back at some of the videos that we've done recently as we get out our thermal imaging camera and we take a look at how hot the batteries get before they thermally shut off. It's an interesting way of looking at how much power can we grab out of a battery with how much heat it's gonna dissipate until we start to reach the limits. Now, what's happening in the tool market is everyone starting to redo a lot of their tools to make them work better for the batteries that they're creating. And a great example is this Bosch grinder. It is completely optimized for this Bosch Core 18 volt battery. And we're gonna to continue to see different tools be optimized for different batteries, but these batteries are also gonna be backward compatible to our radio or to the larger tools that draw a little bit more energy and give us more energy out of like a rotary hammer or a recip saw. So we're gonna see a lot of advantages coming about, but you can also use these same tools with some of the older batteries. And I would encourage you, if you ever get the chance to use like this grinder with the Core 18V battery or one of their old 4.0 amp hour fat packs, there is a significant difference between the two. And once you start to feel that, that's really gonna get you excited about what's coming in the future with not only the larger battery packs, but I am personally more excited about the smaller battery packs that are gonna give us that power and portability. So look at what's coming out in the big stuff, but I think also concentrate on what do you use every single day and where do you want that power at? And the technology from the bigger batteries is gonna be brought down to the smaller ones and all of a sudden, the, what is powered now by a large battery is gonna be powered by a small one pretty soon. Lots of cool things happen in the battery technology area. 
and we're going to continue to go over different tools that are using this technology. So I encourage you to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We have a lot of social media posts going on. We always thank you for your time. Have a great day.